In this video, I am going to explain the parts of the hindbrain. Here, we first begin by drawing the tubular structure that is on the ventral side of the brain, that is uh, below, that is posterior and ventral to the brain. So, this tubular structure here is an extension of the brain stem, which consists of the pons and the medulla oblongata. On the dorsal side, we have the cerebellum. The cerebellum here, right, right now, I am drawing the tree-shaped tree white matter. So this structure here inside looks like a fern tree or a tree structure there. So that is why that's called as a tree-like structure. Now once we finish drawing this, let's label the parts here. So first we begin by draw, uh, labeling the cerebellum here. So this is the cerebellum and inside the cerebellum we can see the gray matter and the white matter so like i said the white matter is it appears to be like a tree like structure so this is the white matter which is uh, present inside the gray matter so as we know the gray matter consists of the cytons and the unmyelinated axons whereas the white matter consists of myelinated axons so here the white matter since it looks like a a tree kind of a structure it's called arbor vitae or the tree of life now on the ventral side the first swollen part here is the pons veroli and the second part which is slightly swollen there before the beginning of the spinal cord is the medulla oblongata now the functions of the pons veroli is that it helps in linking the nerves between the cerebrum and the cerebellum so there are nerve tracks which connect the cerebrum that is the cerebral cortex and the cerebellum the medulla oblongata is a very important part of our body which controls various reflex centers so it has some main centers that are controlled that is the respiratory center which controls respiration there is the cardiovascular center which controls the cardiac reflexes etc the cerebellum is important for coordinating and balancing of the body it reorganizes or we can say that it kind of modulates the motor commands of the body so that is how it can regulate the balancing and the coordination of the movements of our body now if we look at the dorsal side of the cerebellum we can see dorsal side of the brain we can see two parts of the cerebellar hemisphere so here these are the two cerebellar hemispheres and in the center we can see a worm like structure so this worm like structure that can be seen between the two cerebellar hemispheres is what we call as the vermis.